It's just after 6am at Oakhampton Battle Camp on the northern edge of Dartmoor. It may appear to be a casual breakfast for these Royal Marine recruits, but what's ahead of them is anything but. Thirty miles in under eight hours across the moors, otherwise known as the 30 miler. The last test before these recruits become fully fledged Royal Marine Commandos. So the 30 miler is the culmination of the commando tests. Um, so in the past three days they would have done the endurance course, the nine mile speed march and the Tarzan course. And more importantly it's the final stage in their 36 weeks of training. Uh, in the Royal Marines um, and it's the final test they do before passing out and coming Royal Marines commandos. Before they set off there's a kit check and then it begins. So they're carrying um, 40 pounds worth of kit, all their safety stores, um, all the kit they'd potentially um, move to battle with. And that's what it's designed to replicate, either that uh, insertion to a, a battlefield or extraction from uh, an a, a tactical action. The recruits head south across Dartmoor as they'll be finishing in Bickley where 4-2 Commando Royal Marines are based. Although they start and end their test on even, tarmac ground, it doesn't stay that way for long. The rain is pretty disgusting, um, especially in the winter time as well when uh, we've had a lot of rain recently. The ground is pretty much saturated underfoot, um, undulating terrain, uh, steep features, re-entrance, valleys to move through, um, high features. Then when the wind's up as well, it makes life even more difficult. So after the first leg, how are they all feeling? <laughs> Tired. <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> the recruits are being pushed to their limits. It's physically and mentally exhausting. And with the changing conditions Dartmoor presents, there's a support team of over 20 military personnel, including medics, to make sure the recruits are as safe as they can be. Not everyone who starts will finish. There could be injuries en route. It's tough. It's designed to be. Right, you know the drill, lads. Straight down, kid. Organ bottles in the jerry can. There are five checkpoints en route, and at the majority of them, they have just two minutes to have some water, take on some food, because they'll be getting through at least 3,000 calories during the course of the day. Over halfway, legs are tired, and now it's all about resilience. I think by the time you get to this stage, because you've been through so much already before, um, your body uh, is, is clearly in, in a lot of uh, pain and a lot of the recruits are probably managing uh, injuries as best they can. However, because you have gone through so much and you're immensely capable of doing what has been asked of you, um, it's the final tick in the box that needs to be done. And um, no matter how much pain you are in, I think you'll summon the energy from somewhere deep down to get the, uh, the job done on the day. And they certainly did get the job done. The hard work has paid off and all that's left to do is to get that prestigious green beret and join the UK's elite fighting force. There will be a formal passing out ceremony at Commando Training Centre in the coming days, but this is the moment when the commando tests are complete and they can look ahead to their future as Royal Marine Commandos. Yeah, ecstatic. Um, we've, we've all worked hard throughout the training and uh, you're doing the 30 mile now and you join one of the biggest clubs in the world. So absolutely ecstatic and you can't beat the feeling. So I'm really proud, really proud. What was the worst part? Worst part? Uh, probably the first like, sort of 12 miles was the worst, knowing you've got all of it to come and the pace was just rapid. But you've done it? Yeah, <clears throat> thank God.
<laughs> Bryony Williams, Forces News, Devon. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.